Sierra Leone, what do you think is the biggest thing that separates you from the other contestants? I think the biggest thing that separates me from other contestants is my resilience and courage to still go on in life and be able to touch other girls who, are, who have been abused just like me or victims as well. And having lost my mom at the age of 12, I found myself in a situation where I had to grow up raising my two little sisters because we would live with our dad and he went to work for like seven to seven so he hardly had time. So that made me so mature. I feel I felt like a mother. Now they're grown into incredible women and I feel so touched and it gives me great joy to touch more lives, especially the lives of women. And so I feel the strength I have gathered from all of my experience and with the will that I have to go on and to do all of this in the lives of people, especially people who depend on this, people who depend on me with the fear to disappoint them and not be there for them, gives me great courage and I feel like that is what makes me different from all contestants. Hello, my family. Hello, my family. Welcome to Sherrick's Broadcast Network, the place who sounds the brain surround your life. To Rusa, ever you day around the globe. Of course, uh, when I get for a beer, which is small because when they get a small, small problem with the uh, audio, Nayaso. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, first, we want to welcome you uh, to Sherrick's Broadcast Network, especially the one that we just joined you today. If this is not your first time for joining me, we want to take opportunity of this moment for officially welcome you to Sherrick's Broadcast Network and for assure you so you don't make the right decision for them at the right place. Uh, what we do now today, uh, we get for, you know, uh, talk about some key issues, two important things that really can happen at the country right now, the Sierra Leone. Now that we get for talk about now Sherrick's Broadcast Network today, uh, one of which is uh, the president in visit to McKinney will get for analyze that visit today and uh, you know see waiting on, uh, the usefulness of the visit to McKinney to the country and also we insist that they will represent the country right now in Miss World, in China of course uh, it did it, it represent we and we get for getting with support so now that's not the other thing we're going to talk about now so today 
So if you just enjoy, we want to take opportunity of this moment for officially welcome you to Sherrick's Broadcast Network and for our show you say we're going to give you a good programming. So once more, stick around with us as we go to the very, uh, you know, first item on the agenda, which is a Sierra song. All right, stick around with us. Of course, uh, we get for continue for apologize to Una for the technical glitches. or the continue for gates now the station. Of course, uh, we audio now give we a little bit of problem, but uh, everything should be fine. But yes, uh, so that's now been a Sierra musical artist. Of course, uh, they uh, do the track uh, tied to my area. Of course. Uh, want to say plenty plenty thank you to uh the australian musical artist of course aisha c we feature nigga don uh want to say plenty thank you to you aisha of course 
by nature, this is something that we always say here on Sherrick's Broadcast Network, that as Sierra Leoneans, by nature, we are very talented people that anything we, we decide for put your attention to, we do unto perfection. And so, uh, now that we, Sister Aisha C, don't exhibit and that Ian nigga done. And so we just they encourage them and then continue for do what they need to do. And may they put some uh, messages in their songs, we at least go, re you know, go, go, you know, uh, motivate and uplift uh, Sierra Leoneans then so. Uh, that is very important. And so, uh, moving on, we get to other sister way uh, in self the try for just enter into the music business. We, you know, now the Maryland A and the day just the try for enter into the music business. We, now Diamond Cherry, now he named that one day. Uh, he get energy, he get passion, of course. Now from the time we did free to and we, he be a member of a choir group. Now they learn, now they get grow interest for sing. Instead of don't come into uh, the entertainment industry now, and so we we'll therefore can talk to him, you know, about what in our, you know, in kind plans that we get. But before we do all of that, it go find for let we talk about our own sister. Of course, uh, we right now they represent we na the Miss Ward. Of course, not to other person. We we'll talk about Sarah Tucker. Sarah Tucker and I, they represent Sierra Leone and Miss Ward at this point. And of course, not a small thing that one day. You know, uh, right now, when I don't check all the votes that we don't get, it is all the way done, 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 done. You know, and Sierra Leoneans will get for step up for able for vote for Sarah. Whether you let her now, you know, let her now, put all that sentiment on the side, put that ego on the side. Because who say say a day now, a day at the world stage. Now China, it represents Sierra Leone, and the government of uh, uh, you know Julius Madabio, they support him as well. In not time like we have come up and go last year, now Miss uh, Universe, we in not get receive any support from the APC government. We be seeing a big, big, a big, big, big. Now people, then designers inside Philippines at that time. Now then be the volunteer for help our camera. To, to the extent where one of the designers don't know say this Pikia, this can we don't come for represent a whole country, Republic of Sierra Leone, and not get one support, you not get money for design the clothes that we get for wear, and not get no support as well. So the designer take him upon himself for you know for for provide free services to her. They close the hallway away where the other team them that they begin for help help them. To the extent the guy even cry when he did talk about Hawakama. That was last year. And that was under the All People's Congress. And as we know, ten be don't reach Nasalaway, PC not care about nothing. Right? I mean this is always true because like now the only two government in this I mean party in this world know. So either we talk about one or we talk about the other one. So the people that we probably go get tired of this, you know, like we don't have any choice. We have to continue to talk about these two political parties. But when a Sierra Leonean don't go na a global stage, it represent the country. This is no time to politic. This is no time for put on your emotions. This is no time for put on your uh, you know, sentiments. You get for now become nationalistic. You get for become a patriot. And so it is very important for low support, you know, uh, uh, low support uh, Miss Tucker as it represents Sierra Leone, not China, by the Miss War. But before that, let me know first of all who that na Sierra Tucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Eh? Let me see how it is talk. You know, it's you don't among because when you don't compete at a global level, right? Then they take you, then they treat you like all the other one them. Then they treat you, say, oh, this is not developing country, come out, now nah, small country, come out. They're not advanced, they're not developed. So let me treat her that way. No, you are all going to be treated the same way. So it is left with you to uh to you know to for demonstrate say you able for compete at that level. And so, now that's uh, Sarah Tucker, they do. 
So we say that you can talk at the meet. One of the things, one of the major competition, they don't do other things them. But one of the major competition what they don't do is this thing what they call world challenge head to head. So meaning that when all this is done, they ask with an intelligent or intellectual question for let them see how you go able for articulate on their questions then they. So this goes back to send us to that thing we Sierra Leone began to organize this beauty pageant, and whether they asked with picking their questions, whether they're not able to answer their questions, then they, it became embarrassing for them. So you get for design questions based on the atmosphere where the person is in. So let us see Sierra Toka and see how it performed per the, you know, head to head, not the Miss World, not China, right? Stick around with us. Sanya is the southernmost city on Hainan Island, giving it the perfect tropical climate for our Miss World contestants to enjoy the sun here at the Mangrove Tree Resort World in China. Let's see if things heat up in today's episode of the Miss World Head to Head Challenge. Today we have South Africa, Venezuela, Sierra Leone, Finland, Wales, and Latvia. So are you guys nervous or excited? Excited. A bit of both. A bit of both. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, nervous or not, it's time to begin the head-to-head -head challenge. And here's how things work. You will all be sharing a video presentation with our viewers, and then it's time for the final question. And the viewers will decide which one of you moves on, and voting opens after the video presentations. So let's begin with our first contestant. She comes from South Africa. Nelson Mandela once said, education is the great engine of personal development. It is through education that the daughter of a peasant can become a doctor, that the child of a farm worker can become the president of a great nation. What Nelson Mandela did for our country made the idea of following one's dreams a reality. My South Africa is a beautiful country known for the rich culture and diversity. My people love and embrace each other as a rainbow nation with humility, Ubuntu, as the core principle they live by. My name is Tuli Sakei. I grew up in Mdanzane in the Eastern Cape, which is the second largest township in South Africa. I was raised in a loving home by both my parents. I had always wanted to be an accountant and pursued my studies under very difficult circumstances. I graduated with a BCom Accounting and PGDA from the University of Cape Town. When you come from a township, there are many challenges that need to be overcome in order to succeed. It was the combination of my family's sacrifices, coupled with the hard work I had put in, that allowed me to change my future. Who knows what the future holds, but I'm excited to grasp the opportunities both for myself and my country. South Africa, tell us more about what it means to come from a township and a bit about that journey. Townships in South Africa are normally characterized by high rates of unemployment, um, teenage pregnancy and crime. And because of this background, um, a lot of people feel that there are limitations to their dreams and what they can achieve. And they feel that some things are out of their reach but growing up, I never had limitations because my parents taught me that I should never be a victim of my circumstances. And um, that is because we believed in the power of education and we believed that, you know, education is a sustainable vehicle that can, you know, better your life. So I rose above my circumstances through education and, you know, being from a township actually instilled a lot of um, incredible work ethic in me and it shaped me into the person that I am today, which is why it's very important for me to be at Miss World and to represent my country on a global platform. You know, it gives hope to those people that have a similar circumstance um, and similar background to mine. And it allows them to see an example um, of what education and self-development can do for a person. And most importantly, it just allows them to rise above their own circumstances, to chase their dreams and to change the trajectory of their lives. Mm -hmm. Thank you, South Africa. I'm sure you're inspiring people in the townships and and probably people around the world. Thank you. Our next contestant is Venezuela. 
Hola, soy Verusca Liudizablevich y represento a Venezuela en este mismo mundo 2018. Me crié en una familia muy cercana a Dios y es por esto que me gustaría trabajar algún tipo de voluntariado en el cual se refuercen los valores religiosos y se alimente la fe de las personas en la sociedad. Desde mi participación en el Miss Venezuela pude conocer muchas realidades muy difíciles de afrontar y fue cuando me di cuenta de que no siempre se puede salir adelante estando solo, sino que se requiere de ayuda. Cuando empecé en este mundo lo hice simplemente por experimentar, por probar, por ver cómo me iba, pero en el camino me fui enamorando de este lindo trabajo. Me di cuenta de que conlleva muchísimas responsabilidades y además de esto puede ser un ejemplo a seguir para muchas personas. Me gustaría muchísimo ganarme la corona del mismo mundo porque sería una gran alegría para mi país y además me daría la oportunidad de seguir trabajando muchos tipos de labores sociales en donde pueda ayudar a personas y comunidades que realmente lo necesitan. So Venezuela, in your video you're seen doing so many different activities, so much work helping people. Can you tell us more about what you were doing in the video? Ok, mi país eh, lamentablemente en este momento presenta muchas problemáticas sociales y es por eso que trabajé con distintas eh, fundaciones y asociaciones sin fines de lucro para poder ayudar a las personas que más lo necesitan y para mí en este momento no hay ninguna eh, problemática que sea mayor o más importante que ninguna otra. Existen muchas personas en mi país hoy día que están pasando momentos duros, momentos muy difíciles, sobre todo los niños quienes no tienen la culpa de lo que hacen los adultos y las consecuencias han sido muy, muy graves y es por esto que decidí sudarme, eh, sumarme a varias actividades eh, de labor social y como dije al principio, ninguna es más importante que la otra, así que cualquier causa en la cual yo pueda ayudar, aportar y participar con mi voz y mi imagen como Miss, que el Miss es una tradición muy importante para mi país, yo siempre lo voy a hacer, Inclusive luego de que termine esta etapa de mi vida, quiero seguir aportando a, esta, a estas fundaciones con las que trabajo y lo hago desde aquí, desde el corazón, para mi país, que es lo más importante, de donde vengo, donde nací y a donde pertenezco. Thank you Thank so you. much for your work, Venezuela. <laughs> Next, it's time for the world to meet Sierra Leone. Hello everyone, I am Sierra Laura Toca and I am representing the land of high hills, magnificent mountains, beautiful islands, awesome beaches, a wealth of natural resources, and the most hospitable people, Sierra Leone. I am 24 years old and a mass communication student at the Farabi College, University of Sierra Leone. Dancing brings out the inner joy in me, and public speaking makes me express myself in diverse ways. Hoping to see you all in Sanya, China, for the Miss World 2018 beauty pageant on the 8th of December. Sierra Leone, what have you done for your platform as a public speaker? As a public speaker, I have worked on myself, my self-confidence and self-respect and self-esteem as a victim of abuse. And I have done likewise in the lives of other young girls and young women in my country. And I have been visiting schools as a public speaker, creating sensitization and awareness, obviously, on domestic violence and abuse and I have been advocating for them on every platform that I get, on any opportunity that I get. And also, I have been able to get the government on my side, working and cooperating with me, working on my platform, and um, on my foundation as well. I have a foundation for domestic violence and abused victims. And I have been able to convince men to believe in working side by side with women in my country as well. That's amazing. And it Thank just shows you. the power of public speaking and the power of your voice. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our next contestant comes from Finland. Hi, everyone. My name is Jenny. I'm 23 years old, and I come from the land of beautiful nature and where Santa Claus and angry birds are coming from, Finland. My home country is known for excellent education systems and gender equality. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, of course, uh, that was our own dear sister, Sister Sarah Tucker Lee, all right? That's our sister. And so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we are talking about. We have to be there to support our own. Now, from the way we know you, you say that they talk, right? She is very intelligent. You know, they compete in a world stage. The mere fact that when they talk to Sierra Leone, 
now one of the poorest countries in the world, right? With it at the bottom of the Human Development Index. But at the same time, there is somebody representing us on a global stage. That alone for be a big motivation to we. It for be a big inspiration to we, right? And so some of us are really inspired by the fact that we didn't see a Sierra Leonean sitting on that platform among other women from very advanced countries, then they talk on intellectual issues. Very important. So, it go fine for let will go and vote for Sarah. Right, for vote for Sarah, all you get for do now for go na uh, misword.com and then you go click on a vote with it up here. So, uh, let me bring that up so that you will see. You go click here when I vote, you know, then you will see vote 2018. Then under each one of them, you go see the percentage of votes that they don't get. Like Lesotho don't get 0 0.3, 0 0.6 for Hong Kong, China, uh, Algeria 0 0.1, Guinea Bissau 0 0.7. Then vote here, all the votes. Not so all that glamour where they show, but at the votes way people that they vote for their contestants, they are. Now in the make them the win. So you don't have to left your own. So this now all the contestants the way if you go to missword.com, you or click on that vote, you see them pictures them all. These are all the contestants from different countries. I think about seven to eight countries. Now United States gets zero point four percent of votes right now, right? So let's keep going. Right now, Sri Lanka don't get 2.7, 2.17. Uh, you know, that is, uh, uh, she's climbing so high. Of course, we don't get, uh, South Africa don't get 0 0.31. Then here is Sarah Toka. Sarah Toka gets 0.4%, just like United States. So we need for me don't vote. So if I click now, it's now, message go up here, I will say you have already voted. But if you not vote it, you get for first of all, create an account, when are your first name, last name, your email address, and then password. You put it inside, then you go able for camp vote. So, Sierra Leoneans, we have to vote for this lady. So this is where you come to vote. So once more, let's do that again. You go to missworld.com, and then when the page don't open, you go see right here, you go see votes, when you click on them, all the women they had in picture they appear. Then you scroll, go down, you go down, you go down until you see with your sister Sarah Tucker, who is right here. When you see them, you click on this vote now. But when you click on this vote, it will ask you for me to create an account first. Then you will go create that account, you verify the account, then you can vote back. Please, people, don't be lazy. Let me not make laziness from this because you see, salon people that would always do that. Let me not do laziness from this. Let me show support for Sierra Leone. Whether you like Sierra Toka or not, this time, na support you want for you to your country. All right? And so we are on our knees begging Sierra Leoneans, please, you can do one by your phone, you can do one by your tablet, you can do one by your iPad, you can do one by your laptop, you can do one by your computer. If you're not savvy, do one, ask somebody to do it. But we have to support ours. So once more, this now Sarah Tucker again at the global stage. They compete uh, in the Miss World competition. Uh, that is our sister right there. All right. Right now, uh, this now in a little biography gets 0.4 votes. This is everything about her. Uh, she's a 24-year-old person in height now 171. Now student in the top Creole, Mende and English. Right. So this is her right here. We have to support Sarah Laura Tucker. That's her full name, right? So let's do it, my people. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We gotta do this. Let us not let see door again tomorrow. We begin complain because I know people that would always complain, complain around, right? So that is definitely something that we have to do. It's very important for us to uh, do that. And so uh, we get to move on to. Uh, the next item on our agenda, uh, of course, we don't do head to head. Uh, you know, we get we 
We get with your sister, we insert day into, we don't just begin for going to this entertainment industry, uh, you know, not singing, they want for the do, and so, uh, you know, it is uh, very much, uh, uh, you know, appreciating. I mean, anything where somebody put in mind to, where he decides, say, this is my dream, this is what, what I want to pursue, you know, it go fine for all the support. So we in a Sherex Broadcast Network, what they do we own a little bit for Guillaume that supports day. You know, we're not Diamond Cherry, na in name that one day, of course, na Mariam, na in name, but in music name, na Diamond Cherry. So in self day, na that level, they did try very hard for make it go do something. So uh, we've been trying for Guillaume uh, an interview earlier today for let we go able for talk to him about waiting. Uh, now the things the way they do, and so we we'll want for bring that interview to Una right now uh, for the Una go see. So stick around with us. All right, me family, just like I will be telling her, of course, uh, Sherry's Broadcast Network as Una knowing, based on Una suggestions to win Nayaso. Uh, we the service uh, not only talking on political issues or national issues, but we also the promotes the Sierra Leonean talents them. Uh, people that way they try for put a passion into waiting the leg for do and how they go on for even for bring entertainment to Sierra Leoneans. So uh, for now even for do that one day today, uh, we now get uh, uh, no other person but we your sister we instead don't go into the music business and it don't take them very high uh not to other person uh mariam uh, of course uh, they, it can go by the name cherry so we can just call her mariam cherry and so we we'll never talk to her now so exclusively today my studio number eight for make you go tell you about uh some of the uh, reasons for they behind the fact that uh, it went for going to the music industry and how how he want for tackle things in that industry. And so um, before we even talk to her, we want for just play one plan in performances we do by very first uh, song we even decide for put out there. And so we we'll stick around with we as we bring Marian in performance right now. Stick around. So, my family, that's a diamond cherry. Of course, uh, we've been saying a Mariam cherry, not so much in column, but it they actually go by the name Diamond Cherry. Of course, now that's not the name where plenty of people that we know them, now that's the name that they call them by. Of course, now you see seeing the screen right now, we're not able for Brian come live on video, so you can actually see them. 
And so we're going to talk to her exclusively on the phone. Hello, Diamond Cherry. How did you do today? I did fine. That's good, that's good. Now, a delight to win uh, Sherrick's Broadcast Network for talking to you today. Um, just like I'll be talking about our introduction, we can let for promote uh, Sierra Leonean talents, you know, and so we don't see you as one of the uh, talents and you get passion for music, you don't, you know, decide for those songs. And so uh, we want to talk to you, uh, first of all, about what motivates you for like, coming to music. Um, well, music, I come into music, actually, I start thinking with, um, Abide Africa, mm -hmm. Africa, Sierra Leone, right. church choir, so that's one thing we motivate me more to, like, um, want to really push and continue with the whole, um, music thing. Okay. Because I was doing it since, you know, I'd be small, I'd be back home. Okay. So we be back home, like, which is specifically if they do with regards to music, you'd be singing at church, or like when you accompany the past, you just sing? No, I began at the choir, the children ministry until mm -hmm. I joined the youth, you know, and maybe. Okay. You know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And also, Nami school, you know, like choir and all that stuff. When it comes to singing, mm -hmm. I am like the leader in my church that I was in Africa. Mm -hmm. And so, like we the sing, uh, uh, what thing are you in line of musical you want for follow? You want for do hip hop, R&B, Afrobeat? Like, which, which kind of you want for day? Um, basically, I mean, I'm Afrobeat singer. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love R&B, but not as much because I'm a danceable person. Mm -hmm. So, of, of course, I love um, Afrobeat. Okay. So, your songs then definitely more Afrobeat instead of uh, the other one then. Okay. And, and so, um, you, you don't do a song specifically right now or you just depend and prepare for start doing songs? Well, right now I'm working on I'm working on a couple of songs mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, I not just want for you know release song because of song sake. Mm -hmm. I want you know make it be track a hit after hit. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm working of I'm working on a couple of songs then. So very much pretty soon, you know, they will be out by the grace of God. Okay. But I'm working on it. Right. So you see, one day we would have just show from it just now we uh you know we the kind of perform a place, a ceremony. Uh, is this the song that you have done and you know, what side would you perform? Um, that was at uh, forty five year old birthday party in Maryland. Mm -hmm. The Hampton Conference Hall. Mm -hmm. Actually that was my first performance when I do this my first single that was my first performance okay yeah. oh, okay so this not been Maryland right and so this not this not the very first song where you don't put right now yes okay so what's in a what's in a, the meaning of this song you know like how you pull out so what's in this song the try for portray now what's in the, which which message you get inside the song um the song I name I'm still on pandem. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, when you look about when you look at all the things then where they happen now mm -hmm. among we we the Pompey Motor Man in our community, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of he say, she say, a lot of backbiting, you know, people that you trust will betray you. Sometimes and they you don't need for answer nobody back. Just know what you know. Mm -hmm. Just know what you know and you don't. So I make I name the song "Si Don't Pandem." So that's why what you what they go don't talk about you. Mm -hmm. You get a all down there. You know nothing so they don't talk about you. Just they don't no more. Okay. You know. Okay. So 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 si don't pandem not to uh, you know in the other way when you they think like say you know you they try for sure that ever they talk about you for sure and say. 
you know, you, you get past or you able for do you know, what you do past them. But I for just keep quiet over whatever they talk and keep doing what you do. Is that what you mean? That's right. That's okay. Right. So you're not going to listen to them. So you just keep doing what you're doing. Follow your dream. Right? Yes. Okay. So, you know, one of the things that we can always tell so I live in the musical artist them, we know say, you know, the way we found that we sing back in the days and the way we sing now, we're not going to be for sing like I don't really sing. Because we don't really sing back in the days, any song would they make na message they inside, with a message they, they uplift people that really listen to them. So, you know, coming from that uh, angle where you say you've been small and you've been performing and then choir and so you get a church background, you don't even think about the fact say, I don't for know which kind of message way I want for let me music portray. I know they just sing like a old man they sing, either they sing about my business, who my business, you know, talk about. Like I want to learn music get some message now. You don't ever think about that. So now that I'm going to ask you that question, which line of music you have to follow? You don't ever think about a message like that? Yes, success. And if you listen, um, Sidon Pandem, mm -hmm. you go no say um the words are very um positive mm -hmm. and it gets a lot of advice because mm -hmm. there's a line where I say, um, no matter how they try, they're not mm -hmm. able me. Mm -hmm. Even if they use juju, then go try up for me. Mm -hmm. So that in a word for like encourage people them way they feel like say um, juju go work for them or people that we go feel to say um, you know this person without time and not go be nobody. So like basically the song itself it gets a very positive message and advice inside it, and also it they tell I tell me people they say now God before believe that and we they tell Papa God thank you. So okay. the song it contain God it contain for make you not know, believe negativity for make you you know not hate nobody and all that good stuff. Okay, know? right, mm -hmm. and so you know because playing to tell the way. We don't see musical artists that are both in the United States, back in Sierra Leone. Let us cite an example like between Cardinal and LAJ. You know, back in the days, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, anytime we don't meet up some side, na halala did it because one person they wear red, the other one they wear green, the one they really supported yeah. you. You know, that kind of thing. But people that we talk say now the kind of message that we don't they put inside their songs, it's like yeah. it's like then it's right for show off to the other person the other person yeah. said they show off so you ever see yourself for doing something like that or you get for being a little different well me i guess for be totally different because me i they sing for the people i they sing for make people they're able for dance to my music mm -hmm. and for make people they're able for get advice mm -hmm. and good message for me music so basically i go say me na me na that country yeah you know, that country singer. Okay. Way. <laughs> yes, I like that. I like that approach. <laughs> you know, you know, that country singer, where they sing for educate, even if you're not upline. Mm -hmm. When you're hearing the music, you go not say, okay, this is why I saw that na salon person, I don't sing, that's not what it talks so. Mm -hmm. So, me na totally, totally different person, way, way, you know, are depending to this music thing. Me totally could be different. Right. And so, you know, uh, plenty of people in there also, we, uh, can, when they can decide for those songs, then they, then they, then they do the song just for the message, where they inside, they don't care whether the song is danceable, then go able to plan a party, people are going to, you know, like we, MRC, we do two-two party, the message plan them good, and also a danceable, you know, they plan a party, don't tell them they, so, what do you care about? you care about just the message or the beats or both? Well, um, all the thing in the day mm -hmm. is very important to me. Mm -hmm. The beats important, the message important, mm -hmm. and for let the song be danceable important. So basically, for me, all the thing in the day is important. I care about it all. I care for let the beat fine, mm -hmm. for let the message with deep and the music fine, mm -hmm. and for also for let people able for dance to them. Because now when you put good message mm -hmm. and good beats, mm -hmm. and the people are able for dance to your song. Right. Also when you go course day and get fine beats, no, 
Now, where the beat's nice and mm-hmm. the message good, now they make people like, able for dance to the song. Okay. So, you want to let people then, you know, let your music get both the beats and the message working together, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, I think so that now a very, <clears throat> very good way for things about music because, you know, plenty of people really care about the surrounding image when it comes to music, you know, because like when you play Nigerian music inside, then you know, so this is not Nigerian music, this. Anybody who plan I don't know. You play Ivory music, you don't know say this is not Ivory song. You know, you play Uganda, they don't know. Reggae, they associate with Jamaica. You know, hip hop, now America. So tell me the way you play Salon song inside, then you know say this is not a Swalinian song. You know, so we care much about that. I mean, when you can do song, you can remember that it's the for say, I want to this song that get a, a Sierra identity. So, we possibly we are letting say this is not salon music. You can you care about that? Yes, of course. You know, we got plenty of artists in the way they imitate Nigeria, they want to sing like Nigeria, they want to talk about like, like Nigerian, you know, uh, and so I do want to know if you do follow that line there as well. Well, me, first of all, my country, we are part of my country, are part of the for much. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, say, you know, American will sing for give other country credit. Mm-hmm. I will sing for let I give my own country credit. Because if I sing good music, like what we talked earlier on, about the good beats and, and good message, I feel to say, my country self self go be proud. So I know they can go sing in a different nationality than language they give them the credit where if people they hear me say oh now cherry this and they say oh now one idea lady we are not able for no say now cherry we come on salon right. i will always they sing say me now you know sing a Sierra union even if i get for sing and make a leg put some melody to it but it get for b then get for no say now salon city they sing so Okay, so um, when you would expect for uh, begin for see your official video then they come out? Um, right now I'm working on student and then the video, mm-hmm. by the grace of God. Mm-hmm. Um, before this um, month they end, mm-hmm. because it's already ending, mm-hmm. um, to next month it mm-hmm. will be out by God in power. Okay, and then after that you will they work on other songs then, right? Them, yes. mm-hmm. Well, we go for the follow you, you know, we go for the follow you, and we are very much uh, happy that you do something like this. We will talk to you for now, keep up your dream, anything you believe in, uh, pursue them, let nobody not take you away from your dream. I uh, would pray for me to succeed, you know, and uh, we're going to bring you come back. When you first video come out, we bring you come back, let me talk to you because people don't go out for me which progress you don't make. So I want to say plenty, plenty thank you to you for the short interview we'll give you. We will bring you come back, okay? All right, thank you so much. You're welcome.
All right, happy February. That's now Diamond Cherry. Of course, we get for continue for follow on Diamond Cherry. We feel say any Sierra Leonean talent with its guy for do something for support her. You know, we get for left for the backbite, we get for left for the provoke, we get for left for the, you know, uh, you know, for stop for the support people. Them. You know, Sierra Leoneans, the only way we be able to make we country go before is by then small, small actions them, you know. We get for continue for the support we own. Just like how Sarah, Laura, Toka, Dana, China right now, it represents Sierra Leone. Now, Miss Ward, we need for go vote for her. We need for vote. Before the end of this broadcast, we'll go back and come back once more so that uh, we'll go able to show you, you will not be meet up for know how you're able for vote for Sarah for let go win. Na China. And so this na Diamond Cherry, of course, one for say plenty, plenty, thank you to her. Of course, we'd encourage them for my continue for do what they do. Uh, let you not give up, let you not listen to people them. May it see don't pan them. Just like I don't talk, it is see don't pan them. See don't pan them. It look like some say get for take up down and ask me your mantra as well. <laughs> you know, we man at the back by see don't pan them. Because you see, no matter how you did at this world, people are not going to learn for talk about you. Right now, as you don't know how they talk, people are not talk about me. But you don't get for care. You know, you get forget what you call your dream. What is ever way important to you, what you passionate about, what you know, say inside your heart, now this I want for you. Even if not for to wake kaka, when I excuse me for the language, trust me, pursue them. Because when you pursue them, something good will come out of it. So, because salon people that we so good at, damaging others you know we come people don't see we come people will not contribute nothing like we diamond cherry they sing so will not contribute nothing to this in song they don't go again energy it is sing but um you know people that they know they go and find, go begin to provoke and begin to downplay them we be say they're not deep and do nothing we we'll get for left that habit with president right now he don't set good example in the country and we we'll get for continue for follow that in good example day you know wherein you know, we have to come bring uh, something to our side when talking at church. I mean, at crusade. Let you listen to what the president say, but not to the one day right now. So, Sierra Leoneans, let us continue to uplift each other. All right? And so, next, we have to now move on to the president in visit to McKinney, uh, to Bombali district, of course, in Tonkolili district. Uh, we have to visit that one day in Talk Bottom. We have to do analysis. Of course, we know see plenty of people don't see. The visit where the president makes, so we not bring that visit again. We will just bring you half and half videos about it, but we get to analyze the uh, the whole thing thoroughly for let people then see uh, what is going on. All right, so one for me stick around. So continue for bring the programs. Right, of course, my um, family. Of course, we all know we don't the see where the president make that visit to uh, Northern Province. Of course, uh, uh, plenty, plenty talk. Don't they go on about that visit? And so, 
Uh, we're going to talk about the visit itself. You know, uh, we feel say it's just very necessary for, let us talk about the visit that the president made uh, to that part of the country. And this is what I don't personally understand as a Sierra Leonean. Now, most of we Sierra Leoneans, we have been very hypocritical to our country. You know, all the time when you talk to Sierra Leoneans, all the man they talk with passion for let this country I go before. For let we come out who say they right now. Let the country pro make progress. But how this country get for make progress if we not change the things that we've done to do for the past 50 something years. They say you cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a change. There has to come a time when you talk say, these things that we've done to do we not can go before, make a change, maybe what I go do next go can go before. Now, in Sierra Leone, there are a couple of things that we have been known for. Unfortunately, sometimes we don't want to talk up, or sometimes we can talk about but everybody they try for take away the blame for him from him and point up on somebody else. Whereas now we all for just take the blame. Now in Sierra Leone, we have a democratic system. Within a democracy, democracy in a government by the people, for the people, and uh, what is the other one? Government of the people, government of the people, by the people, and for the people. So meaning that inside democracy, now the people then get government. Now that make inside we own constitution, it did it clearly inside uh, chapter two or article two, it did inside it for say the people then then get the government na say The one that they all they vote for, then just they go do with operations. But now we the people then we get the government. From the president take candle. Now, by waiting, what they do now, they give them the powers for me to go sit down, sit down, sit down. Now, we they vote for the president, for let it be president. The vice president, they run on the same ticket together with the president. So, now we they vote for the other two. The one that we they go to parliament, the parliament building, now for all Sierra Leoneans. But because the house not big enough for like, all salon people and go inside it for talk about country business, now he make they divide the country into constituencies and wards so that. We point people the way they go represent you in that house day. So our country is run on a democratic system. And so therefore, when we don't vote and elect the president, that president, whether you've been vote for our, you not vote for our, he is now, he or she is now your president. Now a president for the entire country, Sierra Leone, not to for just the one that will be voted. So therefore, you know, before the president make this visit to Northern Province, this talk here be done to go around a whole lot for say, oh, the president they not go welcome and are not. They're not go welcome and are not in province. Now, I don't know who's that talk they come out. But how can you not welcome a president in any part of the country who say it is a rule? I don't understand that. And I know say plenty of other people that do the talk say, oh, where the president will go, he can't go back to he can't go back to police there. Tell me which president will only ever sit down and say, where they visit and say, where they can't go security. Hmm? I mean, we get for we show you the security way Anes Baikoma will get where he visit uh, some parts of the country. Let you compare that security to the security way Mada Baby will get where he go to Makini. Right, so we get for left all the talk here. This is not backward toxin, this is not in with man called retrogression. Where you go, be here, you come here, you go before you go, be here. And you, I mean, can you imagine the time way with man that make aeroplane? Now, be 1902, the first flight, now 1902. Now, this is 2018, 30 days, Sierra Leone, we're not even able for no, a single component to go inside play half for maker. And we still engage in actions where they put through behind. You know? Where they put through self behind. And we're not, what they do with, with, with impunity, we're not getting any remorse over what they do. So, some of we, 
whether people engage for brand we anyway or not, but this is the type of president we have been looking forward to. Julius Madabio, before he become president, but could people have been a doubter? Say, but this man also has been not going to be able to fuck up. But from the day when they swear the man, Pada Quran or Bible, from that day the way my man begin for execute the duty system. Now from there some of you begin for raise eyebrows. Say, wow, what is going on? Am I dreaming? Can somebody wake me up? Because the man is selfless. Now, when the man go na talk a lady, he not just go, when he go, any side will go for this trip now did not he delivered something to them. Now that Uncle Lily here, the man don't go na the boys' high school, the Magwoka boys' high school. When are they and by Chroma attend? Now they Mikhail Oba, when are the former minister of education under the APC? Now that school they go. That school they, they show you right now, they can't show you the school. Where grass don't cover the school. Where if you don't left like a one month to election, I didn't care go that white wash paint, they rub up at the building. They all look white. <laughs> but this is the school they attended. The press, the former president of Sierra Leone is by Kroma, went to Magwoka Boys High School. The former minister of education went to the same school. And now when you talk about how much money would they be able for siphon, for able for tea from government, Will be say just a fraction of that money there for not to can make their own school. They did not do it. So now Julius Madabi don't go tell and say this boys' high school we are going to we are going to repair it, we are going to renovate it, we are going to refurbish it. Will the brand come back to standard? Because enough time for me just look at now. You have to look at the bigger picture. They want to win at their schools there. Then picking a wedding at their schools there. They are ultimately the future leaders of Sierra Leone. No matter whether we agree or not. Now then get for me the future of Sierra Leone. You know, what you make way when you check inside the APC, out of the one hundred percent of the membership in the APC, now only about five to ten percent of their way go school then get degree their way they go so now I make that few of them now then they turn 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 then come to them right because they not ever place value on education education is key to success any side so they not place value on education and so for over how many years I would say 24 years from 1969 to 1992, they don't place value on education. So they want to own a be picking them, we grow up inside that system. Now they now, now they want the way now be brought in today. So majority of them not acquire no education. So now make we country stagnate, we continue to go before. So any leader where they come and put premium on education, that leader then a good leader. Because that leader is not looking at today. That leader is looking at the future. He's looking at how Sierra Leone get for B, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 years from now. How will Sierra Leone be? So that's what Julius Madabio do. So let me look at some of the videos then, and then we'll go talk about them videos then. First, let's check how he was welcoming Tonka Lili. All right? Stick around.
Yeah, so my family, those uh, students who they see right now, they welcome the president. They are walking down to where the president is going to come, and we then get for welcome them. And uh, so, to me, I think it's a, a very, very good move. That one in the right direction, you know. So uh, basically, it is very, very important. Uh, as to the sea, those are the students going uh, right there for Medan, you know, welcome the president in the northern province. That is inside Tonkolili, right? And so, you know, just like how we talk, I mean, I do not understand why would anyone think that uh, Julius Madabio as our president is not supposed to go to certain parts of the country. Now, are the people saying these things uh, out of the fact that then they afraid, you know, waiting probably they may do, you know, that, do they have, uh, they they afraid like waiting and as by Koma been do for 10 years, you know, ignore the strongholds of the SLVP, whosoever has SLVP party been strong, and as by Koma ignore the area, then they completely, like Kenema. Kenema be don't talk like village, village, village. It not be ever look like say Kenema when I be in Kenema. Where we been get all kinds of things. You know, when I be the economic backbone of the country, when I be the the one of the most beauty, beautiful cities in you know Sierra Leone, it turn to village. Where we in the season come na Porto Porto, dry season na dust. The hospital dilapidated. For ten years, the people went through that just because they pledge their allegiance to the political party of their choice. Now, people then, we are APC people, then, especially in the Northern Province, where they are expecting this president to do the same thing. SLPP, as some of us know, is not on record for, you know, engaging in any kind of practices than they. You know, because when they come to power, they serve the whole country. Because even by their mantra, it's one country, one people. The Secretary General of the SLVP is from Konadubu District. The Vice Chairman of the SLVP is from Cambia District. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, for the one who talks about SLVP is a tribalistic party, when they look at the components, composition of what are the inside. You know, so that was the students who welcome the President. Now, this is Insight on Kalili. Let us take a look at this video. We have plenty of one I don't see, but maybe somebody is out there we're not able to see this video I hate. For let we listen and assess waiting day inside this video, then we'll go talk about that. Alright? Stick around. The slogan, this is our time, paid no dividend to the government secondary school for boys in Maboka. During the Not to improve the standard of the school. 
For the past 10 years, if you can watch the buildings, the classrooms, in fact, we have double a seating. As you can see, there is nothing to write home about. The slogan here is that now we time this. But does that reflect to our young folks here? No. This district, especially boys' school, was once referred to Oxford of the North. You've seen it. It, as a result of that, the former president himself attended this school because it was once referred to as Oxford of the North. Right now, if you go to a boys' school, if you don't bother, if you think they go and put an a school in a border, you know you will sit up, that's where you it. Because you made them for if you form an order. Initially, people were anticipating that this school is a school where in the, the, uh, the former president came and the, um, and the Minister of Education. So that is why people are expecting much. And this should have been a force to reckon with. That is why we said we are expecting much. Looking at what Tonko Lili gets and uh, the kind of individual that Mwiton Lili produce, especially boys' school, where now we get the most important minister, the men, of course, the first gentleman. They look at the what we get now, you will see that the most deprived district in the country. As Minister of Education, you own to, and this is the only government institution that you own to. You cannot improve it for over 10 years. So come on. So now what do you go talk about? Now, yeah. Over 10 years. No. You know, nothing. They started refurbishing at the 11th hour when almost the elections are at hand. They started it and you cannot believe that they whitewashed the building without even placing the doors, the, uh, the windows and even the adboards. So just to camouflage the people, any individual that comes, you will see the whitewash that, okay, they are, uh, uh, they are more or less repairing this school. Now we learn for the put the record streets. Now we not allow for the keep thief man them. Now we various institutional old guests. No, no, the army are thief, man, because you know, go can they, post don't go thief, they can't can get 25,000 big yala for her. Now, my brother, and they. At least if that did happen, now we don't want to bother the finger pocket that system, but get right. If we continue for left, all things, any government can, they can just rule a country like any how you feel, the left hand, and then of the day, you know, you get account. That is mess up. And if we not get side for start, the country don't go before. And one of the issues and where they make development of the go before is corruption. Who they pay revenue? Like we saw with the pay tax, with the pay revenue, now we money there. So if it then tip government, not to government, now we money there in the government. So now we not the government. Let them give it back, what we, we have it. Let them give it back, we money there. Let us face the reality. If somebody has committed a crime, even his SLPP, he should be punished. Even his APC, he should be punished. So let us face the reality so that people will see and copy the good example, not the bad example of other people. If they are left, then for sure that people are going to copy the bad example. They may make a, an example that, okay, when these people did this, nothing happened with them, so I will also do this. So I think they should be punished. Let us forget about politics. This is Australian. All of us are Australians. Let us do things to benefit the Australians and not selfish ends. Wow. So, um, so exactly, this is what we are talking about. I want to say a lot of thanks and appreciation to the people that we talk on this video for their courage for me to come out and speak on what is important. So, this is exactly the kind of things that we keep talking about. Because this school right here, this is the school that the former president attended. This is the school that the former Minister of Education, Mikhail Ba. this is the school he went to. So this is clear. This is tell me how it is true when people that we don't talk say APC not value education. Because if they value education, you cannot leave your own school to dilapidate like this. Look at the grass. Look the kind place, look how it looks like. I mean, when in turn around, they said the president of the country attended the school. That alone. All right? So, in a couple of months, when I just watch, would they bring when I, a development, a, an update on how this school gets to look like? A couple of months from now. Okay? Because. The SLPP government is not only for southeast of Sierra Leone. We say getting strong base. The SLPP government is for the entire country. So, 
This visit where the president visited the Northern Province is not only to go there on a thank you tour, but to also assess the part of the country and see what the needs are, what he needs to do. I mean, this is just unbelievable. But you see, when the time come again for let there be election, five years from now, when the time come again for low votes, you will see these same people will go again and begin to cast their votes for the APC. I mean, people, don't get me wrong, there are very good people in the APC, very nice people, very good people. You know, we know a lot of good people in there. But I don't know how they can left Sudan, where they make them particular bad name, that they all can't get bad name together. I don't know how they do it. Because these are good, genuine, honest people. You know? But anyway, so that's now the Magwoka Boys High School. As we see, Ayanda, you know, as you hear, we see that man, they talk, he say, left a couple of months where election, they come, now they go put whitewash, Panam. But then you see how the ground is. I don't even know who said the picking. Now, my media, they talk, say, in Peking, it is said that I'm a broker boy size school boy pull and because the baby said they don't even mattress not the pan and the ordinary which is said they really don't pan. I mean, can you imagine? This is the school that the former president attended. So if now people are with value education, trust me, this now one area would have don't even use as an example. But they are abandoned and they don't even care about them. Plus the Minister of Education. Ah, my God. Anyway, so let's head to Bombali district where the president went to McKinney and waiting happen inside McKinney. Now, before we go to McKinney, let me give you a perspective on, uh, you know, you know, when I know say, the person way the president choose for let head the, uh, the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education of that country day, Na Honorable Alpha Timbo. Honorable Alpha Timbo na Makini Bon, Bombali District. Na de Bon. And you know, he used him as an example that he has been a teacher, he has fought for the causes for teachers. You know, he understands what school business in that country day. And he is the one that he depends on to able for succeed with a flagship program. So you know the way the president the campaign, the main issue way a campaign on was free education. So for let it get good name or bad name by presidency now from this free education agenda now from day down they come out. So for let it take Alpha Timbo and pin him before that education business must not say his his the, the reputation of his government, the kind of identity when government get forget the kind of success where this government will get now is dependent on Alpha Timbo. And as soon as I know, Alpha Timbo is a very diligent man. I'm not like Boku talk. He na na deliver, he deliver consistently. Who say that they don't put, I don't deliver. And who say people are knocking one for goal, na they in want. Let me check back about in time. Who say Alpha Timbo been there? Alpha Timbo, Ministry of Labor and Industrial Development, where nobody know we want. And one of the ministries, they now the way. Within the shape ministerial positions, and nobody know you go for them. Alpha Timbo took up that ministry. And when he took up that ministry, what did he do? Plenty of things that we do under that ministry. Right? The Nasi will get today. Nabi President, late President Ahmad Yankabai agenda that one day. But for let a president a agenda succeed. Now the minister the way they put in position for many work on that agenda. If you not put better minister, your agenda will not succeed. So for the President Kabai agenda for social security and retirement system for Dana the country, it was Alpha Timbo who was able to champion that. He able to set up NASI to win NASI day to day. NASI be done to bail out banks then from bankruptcy and other things. They now even talk about the condition and uh, condition of service for teachers in that country. It was Alpha Timbo who was the Secretary General of the Sierra Leone Teachers, you know, for 10 consecutive years, he was able to fight with the APC government for many change the condition of service for teachers. And today, that condition of service, they don't change. No teacher, no worker will bend shoes anymore. And they pay them good money. In fact, we matter don't carry it all add back. Right? They don't build their own administrative building. When at the Rogaland House, now Eastern Under, they get their own 
hotel when you come up line as a teacher you can't fit up for education business you get some sign away to sleep for a minimum fee right i thought to go do these things so this is the man we able for force all employers in both the public and private sector in that country including lebanese for say anybody where you hire somebody now when you get a job you design contract with that person for say if you work for you for x amount of months or years that person is entitled to retirement you're not going to just grab your driver you get for getting retirement after timbo went to an industrial court and got the court to pass that law so this is the man who is going to also succeed in the free quality education right so this is the kind of people that we matter build they appoint into positions not to just because oh this man our all go school or this man our all come on a team now now people that we don't demonstrate for say then go able for make success now they, they put into a position of authority so anyway Alpha Timbo born at McKinney, and that is where the president went. So let's see what happened there. All right, stick around. Yes, you know, my family, and this is the area where I lack, you know, when our traditional leaders come out in their numbers and how organized they are, you know, where then they dance, you know, then they welcome the president. Now, for all the one and they will go and talk around, say, oh, the president, they know, will not be even needed under, will not, they know, will come under, you know, now, I mean, these are traditional leaders. These traditional leaders, once they don't say okay to you, you are fine. So if they don't welcome the president in McKinney, 
who else will get for listening to? We're not listening to nobody because we are seeing the things live in our own eyes. Things that they happen with this turn around and see. So why would we want to listen to anybody when they talk about, you know, uh, oh, uh, the president not be supposed to? How can a president not go to a specific area in a country? I mean, I don't see that one day, right? But anyway, so let me listen to uh, the speech where the president key why says in McKinney, uh, which he talked about, all right? Uh, um, well, we're not going to bring the whole speech to you, but we'll just bring what in the State House Media and Communications Unit uh, uh, said. All right, stick around. McKinney don't show and Bombardier don't show. Say. say the president are the president of this whole country. One, the people that say they don't appreciate, and they show say they appreciate what in the message with this president in the tribe to say to Sarah Leon say he's the president of the whole of Sarah Leon. We're proud of the people of McKinney because they don't rise above the level where people are way hateful and very divisive don't put them. McKinney people are very proud of Una, we are coming out to our numbers. And that is what development is about. I don't know what this is like. Why can't you imagine if you can't have a whole man for Boku Pass? Rest around the better. We have to pick and choose who are the better. Now that they can train quality education, that for everybody, that they can have the ambulance service, that they can have the medical 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 service, Bless them for picking the education. If you education, we put for me. Glad, glad you back. We them bless back. We more let happy back for the story back. Malamie, Malamie. All right. And so, my family, what else can you tell us? Like this, are the people that we they na bombali this thing, and then they talk live on the video, and we are seeing it. So, you know, when you look at Sierra Leoneans, especially the average Sierra Leonean, trust me, we're not going to bad at all. With people in our country that they forgive easily, they're not going to bad at. Now we will go to school, we will go, we learn this book here, now we get bad at, now we didn't mix up with them. If only we can act the way that they act, trust me, that country, they move on. But now we didn't, now we didn't confuse them. Now we did box up there. Now we did all kinds of things for confuse them. So that is what I am able to to learn from this whole thing. All right. Now we did confuse them, and so my family then when I stick around as we continue for bring the programs to when I stick around with us. I'm 
else one them say not to And not a sequel to me and you yeah. All to you, all to you I dedicate all my love to you Cause now you ain't it past me play, no. And with you girl I know they complain no. yeah. And nobody love me like and Nobody love me like my baby oh. And nobody treat me like and Nobody treat me like my baby Baby girl my heart depends on you And I no go ever play you but fool yeah my only lover, girl, leave me no one's god. Baby, get my heart depends on you. And I'm not gonna ever fetch you come through. Yeah. My only lover, yeah, yeah. cause you didn't make my heart say go pim pim. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Now you didn't make my heart say go pim pim. Now you didn't make me heart go, heart go. Girl, you making my heart go, heart go. Now you didn't make me heart go, heart go. Girl, you make my heart depends on you. Baby, get my heart depends on you. Oh, yeah. And I know go ever play you but fool, yeah. My only lover. Girl, leave me no one's no other. Yeah. Baby, get my heart depends on you. Oh, yeah. And I know go ever fetch you come fool, yeah. My only lover, hey, hey, cause you didn't make my heart say go pim pim. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Now you didn't make my heart say go pim pim. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. You didn't make my heart say go pim pim. All right, so the family, that's now no other person but brother Alonzo. Of course, Alonzo, as well, I know he can always do very classic songs. Then a real brother uh, from Freetown, currently resident in the United Kingdom. Alonzo, we raise your heart up to you, man. Every time we do song that class, you know, that classic songs. Then. And so we appreciate you for that, you know. So I learn your musical art system, uh, when I do very well, you know. We just want level. I'm going to drop some message there inside when I songs that really uplift, you know, people and souls. Where they make uh, with people that feel so good about uh, their country. I think Sudan is very important, right? And so we found with them. Uh, we're going to continue for bringing the programs in our so, uh, You know, uh, right now, what we this guy for do is basically uh, we get for uh, go back to the president and the first lady and see how they, they execute their functions uh, in their various capacities, right? So stick around so do make that happen. Right, and so um, he found with him. Uh, well, let's see what we are trying to do here. Okay, so he found with him. Before we actually go to the president, let's uh, first of all talk about uh, uh, the Minister of uh, Basic and Secondary Education, as well. You know, Honorable Alpha Timbo. We don't talk about her already, but uh, let himself talk to with people them and tell them, you know, what he don't do so far with regards to the textbooks that were government the issue because you know say so if you remember anything the old school as alone then textbooks then be very important to we all be read you know uh, various textbooks then the way government be the key and then textbooks then they some of them be taken at O's but then it was a requirement for say you for bring and come back because the other people that really come behind you, they're going to need for read that booklet. So this being term, under this free quality education, I mean, on the issue textbooks then to, uh, you know, students then, 
and waiting they don't be the response of students and their parents with regards to how then they manage this whole uh, textbook business so the minister of education will be able to come back into them um, uh, for CSA uh, they don't do stuff like specifically in that regard and so let us see what happen all right stick around I'm Alba Usman Timbo, the Minister responsible for basic and senior secondary education. Today I'm here in Bo, where we have invited the leadership of the various councils all over the country, including our development partners, primarily DFID and others, to come and discuss the issue that has to do with the distribution of the books that are pending to be supplied to schools. Uh, over the years, UNICEF as an organization, CRS and, uh, as an organization, including government and other partners, have been producing books and sending them to schools. What has happened during this time when the free quality school education was introduced, we had the opportunity of supplying exercise books in the interim period, and challenges emerged out of those particular exercises. And now we know that CRS had their policy of distribution then UNICEF also had their policy of distribution. So we want to see how we can harmonize all of this with a view to ensuring that we come out with a, a school books distribution policy that will be transparent, that will be consistent, that will provide an opportunity for people to be able to track the movement of books from the area of origin to where they are intended, that is the schools. The idea of textbooks distribution in the district or in the country at large uh, it is very, very timely because um, there is a problem. One of the main problems we are facing in this in this country, textbooks, uh, availability of textbooks. Now that government in the area of quality, free quality education is now providing, because there have been questions coming from uh, parents and guardians, what about the textbooks? Now that government has uh, is going to provide uh, textbooks, and now we are called upon as councils, which is one of the main duties of uh, every other local council, that uh, the Ministry of Education is devolved. We are very happy because that we raise our, our fears and that we in fact enhance the quality education. Part of it will have to involve the, the, the uh, policy on handling the books that are going to be supplied by government. We have the exercise books which are meant for the pupils to take them as their own property and will take along. But the, the textbooks remain the property of the Sierra government. We expect a people, after using the books for the year, these are books that are supposed to be retrieved so that they can be used by people that are coming in the class where this particular person is living. So we have to have a coordinated policy. So we do not have all the ideas. That is why this assembly is meant for people to come and make some suggestions with a view to ensuring that we have a, a textbook uh, handling policy. We have realized over the years that uh, one of the reasons why our pupils are not doing very well is because they don't even have the books. But uh, now that we are going to give them the books, they will have materials to study at home. You know, uh, sometimes if the parents are educated or if they can find somebody to help out, these people will come and help the pupils to be able to read and understand. So we are encouraging the, the parents to allow the children to read at home. Because we find out that sometimes also the pupils might want to read. But if the parents do not give them time to do so, then it becomes a problem. Today was a very good day. We met here with that is, uh, the Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary Education, uh, officials of local councils, primarily the uh, mayors and chairpersons and the chief administrators, as well as uh, the district directors of um, education, uh, partner, development partners, and uh, civil society and the media. We met to look at ways of uh, facilitating the distribution of books from the district headquarter towns to the schools when the books would have arrived and also to develop um, guidelines uh, on how people will use those books. It was a very successful day because at the end of the day we are able to achieve our objectives. We now have recommendations that will go into the formulation of that policy and we also have recommendations that will help us uh, develop 
uh, book distribution strategy for our local councils. Right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, of course, uh, that was the Ministry of uh, Basic and Sec Senior Secondary Education uh, Department uh, as the Guide for Champion waiting to for the go on with the textbooks in the country. Because textbooks are very important to uh, achieving this uh, quality education where the president don't propose. And so the ministry therefore do a proper work for able to know how they go handle that particular side of the uh, the work we then get, you know. And so we applaud them for that. That is now ongoing. You know, just like how we go to school back in the days, whether they give you textbooks, they were the cable. That's not been there anymore. You know, now with parents that they go buy the books, and for we, uh, sometimes they spend a lot of money with the Biden second hand books there, you know. But now the government is actually giving textbooks. Wow. You know, so would that go day now in right mind? We'll go on for, you know, begin for criticize this government for how they handle business. I think they will forgive them some time. Me neither Magbroka Boys High School. Now they wait for see how they get for work on them. Now we can update to that. Let us see an S by Chroma in school will go, Mikhailo Bad and school then go. Let us see how SFP get for fix that school. And every election can't wait on Kalili then vote for SFP. Let us begin to blame their back. You shouldn't blame the people. Right? I mean for ten years neighbor for build your school say you go, the school where you are where your school where you attend. Both you, the president, and the minister of education, when are not able to build, republish your own secondary school, your alma mater. Oh my God, I cannot believe that. These people are just wicked. But anyway, any country we're not able to feed itself, that country they doomed for fail. Because a hungry man is an angry man. And so, one of the agenda items with this president get is to ensure that. In five years from now, that Sierra Leone will be able to fulfill itself. We're not even going to sell for going to Or we'll buy pepper, you know, yabash, yagato, all the incidents. We can grow them in our country. So, in fact, the United States government, they don't contribute money up to $44 million towards helping Sierra Leone to embark on mechanized farming. That Thomas boom. You remember that thing, Andy? Now they're going to be able to use the youth in the country for employ them for go work on them farm them day. Inside two, three years, will they able to produce rice? Where will they feed yourself? I mean, I don't even know how they then they be in common inside. All the rice meals that we will get, how the one they come on inside? That's what I don't understand. But anyway, the first lady don't start the same project on a small scale. They don't get her and company woman them for say on the weekend men and go to farm and do small farm work. So let's bring that to you right now. Let's see. Me, na the deputy minister of education. We can hire today, now this is Lady Magbenta. We come, we can support with First Lady for this um, agricultural project where he gets what he wants for let he empower the woman them. Let we not go rely only upon the man them, but let we rely upon we own sustainability for let we go work, for let we go work for the produce them what we get from uh, produce and the, them plants there so so that we go able for feed we picking them we able for feed we man them we able for sell some uh, the markets so that the economic situation it will come low and then it will able for be controllable we want for tell and Baku Baku, thank you for this initiative and we will gladly with the work Elect for four within our office, but then Saturday, Sunday, we they can't work and we're glad if for work now. They work at the work so they are that they work the mommy, they work so me not the northwest, you don't know, messed it up. My great cargo then we said, Scott, they were bad. Are we 
any program and then they line the care ago. But see, they will look off and then I will look off this so. They will minister, yeah, minister of education, agriculture, social welfare. They are not asleep. All who minister, they will go to take with mother. They are not asleep for that. No more. We start with the day in this country. No move on day. See, they will there. Now, Saturday, Saturday, when arrest in day. We all day, I will come back to first lady. Because this initiative we don't bring car for we now for help with the woman then. If we help get this stuff, now have some tea we get there, that they go help able help to own them, it will able help to pick in there, woman them. Moreover, the education. When mother been doing campaign and flagship programs say education go come free in this country. But could they be they deny they say that they not go ever be na siradion. See they nine happy. So this is the government. So if you now so if you tell you now I do do it this way that they do so. Una way they are one on all this with two and let them not bring bad at Naya. Say well crops don't make them, they can't see farm. Let's see no go before what I do now, they're not so mad, I'm not so fatty, man. Now I self self they suffer. You tell the mammy Boku Beku thank you, tell mother Boku Boku thank you with all the officers them. If food so that the way they be now, we get sleepless start for make this country move right for move with the pray God say it will must be mad, salon not better, and it will better bar under the leadership of Mother Bio. All right, and so my family when I don't hear you waiting, they go on when I don't see. This is what we are talking about. This is practical. This is evidenced, not not to like live business. You don't see the people and they are in the farm. You know, whatever they are able for grown at that farm, they go most able for feed few people. If only the entire country continue with that style, they, now for no say the country go able for feed itself. Now, this is not to be mechanized, this is not just subsistence farming at a small scale level. Now, what if Sierra Leone and the Falamaka are the same thing at all communities? Plus, the mechanized farming, what they get for doing, not my boom, for grow rest for we, so that we don't get for go import rest anymore. In fact, that is so we grow not my boom, now they call the brown rice. It's so healthy. When you eat them, um, you don't get for worry about digestion. You don't have to worry about constipation. You know the pseudo is very belly. Man, you know, Sierraleans will get for stop criticizing this president. Let will give him time. Make it do what they do. Right? In the first lady, let them do what they do. And all the ministers and governments, you know, department heads and agencies. Let's give these people some time. They are working. I mean, when they see unprecedented things that never happen in our country, things that will not be done, they happen. They are happening now. You know? How any man who goes to the night corner and criticizes criticize this government? That's what I don't understand. But anyway, so why is we waiting at the country? Would they appreciate what the president they do? Not to win no more, they appreciate what the president they do. People that are all over the world. They appreciate waiting the president they do how they rule the country. Any side where Julius Madabio go, the leaders na their side and they then they praise them for what he is doing. A leadership style. Right? It don't go all over the place. People they call him flying president. But any go where the man go and they bring better thing come for alone. So it don't matter, they call him flying president, but he is well recognized. Let me just take a look at one video. We will be the last video for this uh, broadcast. But then we will open the line small in case somebody out there we want for join we for you know say something so that uh, you know in contribution to the broadcast. But let me take a look at this video and then from there we go uh, bring some other conversation, uh, very very important conversation pertaining to uh, what is going on. All right, stick around with us. On this episode of China Uncensored, Sierra Leone is the first country in Africa to sidestep a debt trap set by China. Will others follow? Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Sierra Leone, a country in West Africa more or less the size of South Carolina. In fact, it's kind of what South Carolina sees when it looks in the mirror. But unlike South Carolina, where the average life expectancy is 77 years, People in Sierra Leone live to an average of just 52. Still, that's a lot better than in 1995, 
when Sierra Leone was in the middle of a bloody 10-year civil war and people barely made it to age 35. We are running, coming for town. Others, we are searching for food when they go to all of us. When we had that, we left the boats coming for town. We fell into their ambush. They captured us. We had full number, assembled seven of us. Six were killed. Luckily, that's all in the past. Still, to this day, Sierra Leone remains one of the poorest countries in Africa. More than half the population lives below the poverty line of $1.25 a day. But recently, things seem to be looking up for Sierra Leone. We are a successful model of stable democracy, one that has evolved and matured in 20 years from chaos and lawlessness of civil conflict. That was the country's new president, Julius Matabio, elected in April. Here he is in China at the recent forum on China-Africa cooperation, where China's leader Xi Jinping pledged $60 billion of loans to Africa. But President Bio made headlines last week when he overturned a huge deal with China that his predecessor, Ernest Bai Korma, signed a few years back. The plan was for a Chinese company to build the Mao Ma International Airport with funding from a Chinese state-owned bank to the tune of $312 million. A third of that was to be from a loan that Sierra Leone would have to pay back. Sierra Leone's Minister of Transportation and Aviation announced the project's cancellation in a letter, part of which was published in the Daily Nation, a Kenyan newspaper. So instead of taking out a massive loan to build a brand new airport that it doesn't need, Sierra Leone is going to fix up the one it already has. That seems like a prudent choice, given that a recent IMF mission to Sierra Leone found that the economic environment remains challenging and hailed the new government's efforts to stabilize public debt and reduce it to sustainable levels and prioritize public investment aimed at reducing social and infrastructure gaps. It turns out that an earlier $200 million loan from China for the same proposed new airport was canceled when the IMF and World Bank did a debt sustainability analysis of Sierra Leone and expressed strong concerns about the deal. And when a formal organization like the IMF says it has strong concerns, in normal language, that means run. The risk of taking a loan from China is, let's say, different from taking a loan from the IMF. If you can't afford to pay back an IMF loan, they may impose some conditions before bailing you out with another loan. Those conditions might include making you adopt free market reforms, clamp down on corruption, or strengthen rule of law institutions. But those are generally things that make a country better and can attract future investment. But if you owe money to China and can't afford to pay up, well, they take their pound of flesh, like Djibouti, the African country of Djibouti. China recently set up a military base there, likely through political pressure. China is also helping finance the main seaport in Djibouti, but if they can't pay off its debt, and that seems likely, it may be forced to hand over its port to China. And this means China would control the key access point in and out of Djibouti. The big fear is that as China hands out loans for huge infrastructure projects around the world as part of its Belt and Road Initiative, it will use the loans that countries can't afford to pay back as a way to take resources or territory. But by bucking that trend, Sierra Leone has just become the first African country to sidestep one of China's potential debt traps. Some experts even say that Sierra Leone may be the first of a series of dominoes that are about to fall. A professor at a college in North Carolina says this cancellation is a sign that African countries are starting to wise up when it comes to the threat of Chinese loans. Now after the Mau Mau airport deal was axed, China was quick to say, nothing to see here, folks. I don't think this particular project should be overblown as an indication of problems between the Chinese and Sierra Leone governments, said China's foreign ministry spokesman Liu Kang, and then between the lines expressed hope that other African countries wouldn't develop any hang-ups about taking Chinese money. When cooperating with African countries that include Sierra Leone, China has always adhered to the principles of equality-based consultations and win-win cooperation. Of course, when you see headlines like this about Sri Lanka, or this about Zambia, you wonder if the Chinese regime has a slightly different definition of win-win. I think it means if you repay the loan, China wins. If you can't repay the loan, China also wins. Win-win. So what do you think about Sierra Leone canceling its loan from China? Leave your comments below.
And before we go, it's time to answer a question from a fan of China Uncensored who contributes to us through the crowdfunding website Patreon. David Michael White asks, Chris, do you have a favorite creature from Chinese mythology? Let's see. I'm going to say a Qilin. It's kind of like if you combined a dragon head, the body of an ox, but with the skin of a snake. Sometimes they have two horns. Other times, one horn, which has led some people to call it a Chinese unicorn. Please, Qilin are way more majestic than unicorns. Oh, and sometimes they're on fire, but not always. They may look fearsome, but they only punish the wicked. In Buddhist thought, they're vegetarian and fly because they don't want to step on even a single blade of all right, and so my family and that. So this is what we are talking about. So from this report or analysis from this man, uh, in South Carolina, he has given us the clear picture of what our country would have looked like if we continue for take debt from China, from China, from China. We at the end of the day would not be able for pay. That one green portal gets now. They force that they can't set the military base. Then they begin to take control of that report. You know? And just like we see seen as some other country, we say the inspector general of the police of that country right now in Africa, not Chinese man. The national broadcasting service where the country gets, they don't take over because they don't loan the money, they don't able to pay the loan. So this is what they call predatory loan. When they give money to somebody on loan, when you know say you not get the capacity for pay you back, and you get the ulterior motive for able for take something from them. So this was like a looming crisis. So can you imagine if APC would have won this in the 2018 election? That before take that loan, they that 312 thousand million dollars from China, then go build my mama. At the end of the day, we're not able for pay that money back. They are mortgaging our country to China. So when the, this president, Julius Madabu, said, no, this money will not enter, as good as it is, that one great loan get here, Porto will get, wait to make the, the ticket there away they go Salona, because we will not get too many airplanes that they go to our country. If they come on America for go Konaki, and come on America go free tour, the difference in ticket is almost nine, 800 to $900 difference. We'll be say Kunakri are just four hours from Freetown by road. So why we forget eight hundred to nine hundred dollars difference in the ticket we would buy for flight day? Now because we don't get plenty of aeroplanes and they go to our country. Kunakri then get all kinds of aeroplanes they go to the country. So this one aeroplane, I mean air feed will get to a longer airport. Why we not go just repair them, we refurbish them with small money and we continue for use them? Why we get for go build a new airport with this massive loan? We they plunge with country into problem. So we found that this is some of the things that we will talk about. When I get for pay attention, ten don't pass away the few people that we get education, whether they turn turn with aid, whether they lie life for we that time don't pass. Now make some of you they say a lot of thanks to social media for we don't make it possible for them to get information like this so that we will pass it on to family. Alright? So this is not in we're able for bring come to now today. Of course, we can't open the telephone line in case you get any uh, comments we want for make or any question we want for ask. You'll go ahead and ask that question and you will go ahead and call. All right? So my family wanna stick around.
Cause I got a big thing to make you go lose you I come mad like a vigilante Blow your place like a dynamite Breaking your gate is my priority So baby, bring it down, bring it down your security Baby, I'm a good kisser I could be a very good teacher When I go to like the best sister So baby, bring it down, bring it down your security I love you, I love you, I love you Yes, my family that now I shall see from Freetown, Sierra Leone. We want to say big up to you for that very powerful song. Of course, Sierra Leone, a musical artist doing great for Sierra Leone. My family, before we close down today, we're not getting no call here from anybody, so meaning that people are okay with the broadcast. But before we close down for the day, we just want to remind you about Sarah Laura Tokawi. They represent Sierra Leone at Miss World in China right about this time. And so people they depend on votes, which you need for do, you need for go na misworld.com and able for vote for them, right? Let me listen once more to his sister as how they perform uh, the Miss World. Stick around. Sierra Leone, what do you think is the biggest thing that separates you from the other contestants? I think the biggest thing that separates me from other contestants is my resilience and courage to still go on in life and be able to touch other girls who are who have been abused just like me or victims as well and having lost my mom at the age of 12 i found myself in a situation where i had to grow up raising my two little sisters because we would live with our dad and he went to work from like seven to seven so he hardly had time so, so that, that made me so much so sure. I, I feel I felt like, like a mother. mother. Now, now they're grown, grown into, into incredible, incredible women. women. And, and I, I feel I so touched, touched and it gives me great joy to touch, to touch more lives, lives especially, especially the lives of women. women. And, and so, so I feel the strength, strength I, have I have gathered from all of my experience, experience and, and with, with the will that I have to go on and to do all of this in the lives of people, especially people who depend on this, people who depend on me with the fear to disappoint them and not be there for them, gives me great courage and I feel that is what makes me different from all the contestants. Sierra Leone, what do you think? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, of course, that's Sarah Laura Tucker right there in China, competing right at about this time, representing Sierra Leone at Miss World. Of course, me family will not get for try for help this lady. We get for me don't already vote. You need for go vote. You need for at least try for vote for this lady. This is our representative. It represents in a salon. Let us not see don't say you not able for get points. We get for go vote for him, right? And so how you did do them exactly is very easy. How for do them? It's very, very easy, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you. Now you did go to missword.com and you look for this thing I have so we now votes right here. You know, this vote, you click on it, we click on it, and this page they appear. When this page appear, you did go down. You know, for by each one of them, you will see percentages of how they receive votes, right? Like Lesotho na two percent, Hong Kong na six zero point six percent. You know, uh, Algeria zero point one, zero point seven.
for Guinea Bissau, uh, then get uh, South Sudan, then get Uganda, Zambia, Argentina, then get it all. So you just go down the page until you get to Saratoka, right? Saratoka is right here in the blue. That's our sister right there. You know, you click on this vote, but because we don't vote already, so you say voted. So now if I click on it again, it is say you have already voted. But well, I can still go use other device like my phone, my iPad, why not use it? I can even use that and vote for and back. So for all my device and my OS, I get up to five. So it get five votes for me. All right? As long as not to the same account you register with. But anytime when you vote, you get for, if you not don't vote here, then they ask you for, uh, may you go key, uh, may you go sign up. And when you sign up, you get for give your first and last name, your email address, and then you create a password. And they go send email to you to that email address. You go inside that email address, you confirm, and it go bring you come back to this page. Who we'll say you can't vote for Hawa? I mean for Sarah. All right. So let's do that. Let's help our sister. They have a lot of other people, but let us help our sister to succeed in this. I think this is very important, right? So. Sarah Lee Tucker, that's the lady we are supposed to vote for right here. You know, when you open the page, this is her right here. That's our sister. We found that we're going to vote for this with sister. She's very pretty. Don't go under the represent we. This is no longer about tribe, about region, about political party. This is about Sierra Leone winning at the Miss World in China. All right, from there. So now that we able for bring come to now today. Now so we get for end the broadcast for tonight. And of course, uh, silence means consent. We'll not get any call from anybody, meaning that people are okay with the broadcast. And so once more, Mina Ibrahim Sharif, I come to now today from studio number eight, based in Houston, Texas. Of course, we don't take some time without the broadcast, but we assure you now say every week we get for the bring broadcast to now. If emergency happen, we we'll bring that emergency broadcast to the right way. So we are going to get ourselves committed to this, but we we'll get small travel. We we'll get for travel too. I get for travel a little bit. So uh, whether time did it come for large travel, we make one know. But for now, I want to say thank you very much for watching and thank you for your comments. Oh yes, before I go, there are a few people that we have to recognize. Yes, we have to recognize these people because. Now then, we don't care. Now we're all the hangouts. Now yeah, we cannot go without, uh, you know, actually uh, saying that. Of course, Abu Sul Bangura, thank you, Bashke, Fatunya Lay, Mohammed Tunkara, thank you very much. Bashke, write a comment. Uh, you know, we're not going for. Of course, Umu Pine, say well done, our beautiful Sarah Toka. Yes, thank you, Umu. Of course, we get uh, Sarah. Nandi Kwe join, uh, Liz Mike, Alicia Jabati, that's my man, Winnie Musumami from Philip, thank you, of course, Michael Desmond Bundo, thank you, uh, Lamina to Sanko, hey, are you there? <laughs> Lamina to, thank you very much for joining us, of course, um, Marizo Kong, thanks for joining us, uh, Vandy Fode, thank you. Uh, we get uh, Lucien Abdullah, of course, not California based. Thank you. Ibrahim Sorisi say thank you. Blessing K, thanks for joining us. Uh, Desmond Sweet Cherry, or Diamond Sweet Cherry. That's the lady we'll interview. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. And um, we get Maggie Haja K, thank you uh, for joining us. Brother Ahmed Bowling, that's my man. Ahmed Bowling, Virginia. Thank you, sir. Edison Yakub Kuyate. Thank you very much. Josephine Mami. Thanks. Yes. Ali Bele. Thank you very much. Namion, Big Brother Dawandi. James Bondo. Thank you. Adi Kambu. Hey. Adi Kambu. That's my man. Thank you, sir. Um, of course, Macmillan Carter in uh, California. Thanks. Otis Passway. Thank you. Patrick Carter. Idris Bwani, of course, Idris, thank you very much for the comments. Mohamed S. Sherry, thank you. Uh, Ima Kamara, thank you. Mengistu General, oh, my man. Mengistu, you know what? You are the member, Seth Made, Seth Made. I like that music bad. 
Tiaba Tushere, that's my little sister. Thank you very much from Philly for watching. Uh, Bashke, uh, Mohammed Babu, Babu Kone, of course, now big brother Mohammed. Thank you, sir. Dauda Kabala, thank you, Dauda, for watching what we broadcast today. And so, once more, me family, and uh, that's all we get for end the broadcast today. Of course, uh, Ibrahim Sharif is my name, and I'm coming to you live from Houston, Texas. Of course, right on this Sunday, November 25, 2018. All right. I will see you now next week. Stay tuned. Sierra Leone, what do you think is the biggest thing that separates you from the other contestants? I think the biggest thing that separates me from other contestants is my resilience and courage to still go on in life and be able to touch other girls who, are, who have been abused just like me or victims as well. And having lost my mom at the age of 12, I found myself in a situation where I had to grow up raising my two little sisters because we would live with our dad and he went to work from like seven to seven so he hardly had time. So that made me so mature. I feel I felt like a mother. Now they're grown into incredible women and I feel so touched and it gives me